Hey guys, it's Ashton Lua here, and today I'm going to be showing you my free grower garden kit inside of Roblox Studio. So yeah, let's just get into it. So to actually download this kit, you're going to want to go into my Discord server, which is linked in the description down below. And once you've joined, you want to go to the assets channel in my server, and you should see the grower garden kit place file. If this video is a bit older by the time you watch it, you might have to scroll up a few pages to find it. But anyway, once you find the link, just click on it and it'll just download it to your computer. And then it'll open a Roblox Studio Place file, like this. And before you do anything, you want to change a couple of game settings here. So my game is already published, it will tell you to publish the game once you click this. So just publish your game. And once you've done that, go to security here and then turn these two settings on API services and HTTP requests. Make sure they're both on. And then once you've done that, we can actually just play the game and see it working. So if I teleport to the seed shop and then I get some carrot seeds and go to my garden. place a few down and as you can see we do have plants growing and we do have rarities so there's a rainbow one and different sizes there's the gold and another rainbow so as you can see the crop growing does work and we can pick all of them up and go to the sell shop and then just sell and we get our cash and then you know you just play grow a garden how grow a garden is so if i wanted watermelons i'd go here and there we go oh, it's quite big actually <laughs> so yeah this is pretty much just grow a garden a bit simplified obviously without the pets and the tools and such which i could add in an updated version of this kit but yeah now I'm going to show you how to actually customize this kit so you can change different rarities and sizes and stuff so yeah let's just get into it so the first script you can modify is inside server script service and then click on player join and you can edit the starting amount of cash as the comment says here so if you wanted to make this like a thousand for example you could change it I'm just going to keep it at a hundred for now Another script you can modify is this module script here called modifiers and if we go in here we have a bunch of different valuables to change, valuable variables to change. So here we have the chance variable so as you can see by the comment here these all need to add up to a thousand because it picks from one in a thousand. So I mean if you, ha if you change this to two thousand then these numbers will have to add up to two thousand. So very rare is only 100 chance and then common 700. And this will make sense in a second when we go to the scale rarity script here. As you can see, we can change the scales of our rarities of our crops, which is a bit of a mouthful, but I'll try to explain it. So basically, if you had a carrot and it grew common, then it'll just grow normal size. But if it grew to be a very rare rarity, then it'll grow by five times and it's the same for each crop you can change it however you want so yeah another script you can edit is inside of starter gui so the admin panel which i will show off now this is basically just a basic admin abuse gui so if we go to the local script here as you can see we have player ids and these ids are players that can use the admin panel so i have myself on there so if i click play test out the admin panel and go to admin abuse as you can see we have a message panel here so if I just put any message I can't spell whatever and send as you can see we have our message and yeah that will display on every server running in the game so yeah, that's pretty much it for the kit. Obviously, you can customise way more, but I just tried to keep this video simple. 
So as long as you know what you're doing, you can customize this however you want. So yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, or any other sort of tutorial videos, then let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next... I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>